Hey everybody, this is Josh from Pocket Meeple, and I want to welcome you to a brand new series that we're going to start. Uh, now that we have concluded our Pathfinder Adventures uh, long-form legendary run, for the most part, even though we had some hiccups, uh, that series is finished. So I want to jump into something new and start a different game uh, that I would like to play. My goal is to play from beginning to end. Now this is going to be a little bit different, whereas Pathfinder Adventures was kind of like a challenge uh, specifically to do like the hardest difficulty um, but it was a game I was familiar with. Uh, this time we're going to be playing something that I've never played before, uh, and that is Steve Jackson's Sorcery, which is an old, uh, kind of like a role-playing type choose-your-own-adventure book um, from the 80s. Uh, and they released uh, the studio Inkle, who made the really, really awesome uh, Around the World in 80 Days, or just 80 Days, I think is what it's called, uh, app for iOS and Android. Uh, was incredible, and so I love that game, and so seeing that they made Sorcery, uh, and the sequels to it as well, because there's, I think, up to four, um, I really wanted to give it a shot. So we're going to jump in and play through Steve Jackson's Sorcery. There we go. Hey! All right. Um, so let's begin our adventure. I'll choose the mailman, because I'm a mailman. It's a little loud. Let me adjust that volume. There we go. You've walked the wilds of Kakabad through Kair and the spiteful backlands all the way into Mampang. You've survived traps, thieves, serpents, and vengeful gods, and now it is here. The crown of kings! Yes. Give it to me. It is said the crown was never forged, only found by Shalana, the reformer, a lowly foot soldier who became emperor of the eastern world. Such is the power of the crown. The air around it crackles with influence. Take it or wait. Take it! I want it! Your destiny awaits. With the crown in your hands, you will be as powerful as Shalana. The goblins are arming, the giants are waking, and the birdmen carving cruel daggers from stone. War will come, but you will prevent it. But then the image of the crown begins to flicker. You rush forwards. Oh, Akbar! Why didn't you... I didn't know this was a Star Wars crossover. Jesus. And startle yourself awake. You are alone, exhausted, in the little hut in the outpost settlement. Your unimaginable journey is not even a single step begun. You are nothing. I like this music a lot. Very nice. <gasps> Ankle! Ankle presents... Steve Jackson's Sorcery! Sorcery! <laughs> yes, just something like that. Part 1, the Shum Shumatanti Hills. Ah, all right, let's do this. It is sunrise. You dress bre ugh, breakfast on bread and goat's milk and collect the pack and sword from beside your bed. Let's test the blade. You pause to test the blade against your thumb. The blacksmith has done well. The edge is keen and draws a narrow line of blood. You know, you know that's, that's how I test blades. It's like, mm, let me just cut myself open. Oh, yeah, no, it worked. Uh, outside the hut, you hear the outpost element stirring to life. Let's pray for luck. Taking a moment more, you close your eyes and raise a prayer to your spirit guide. This morning it is the form of a panther, but what will it become once your journey truly begins? A great calm descends on you. Time to go. Let's -a go! Time then to depart. You lift back the flap of the hut and step into the early morning sunshine. Try path to the flag. I win! That was easy. Simple. Eyes follow you as you leave the hut and walk towards the great Shumatanti Wall. The frontiers people of this tiny settlement are well aware of your mission. I will greet them. You turn to them and bow. Some smile in reply, but are too afraid to approach. Others make gestures of protection, and you, you are going beyond the wall, so they believe you to be cursed. Man is waiting on the path to the Cantop Cantopani Gate, the final doorway between Analand and the wilds of Kakabad. You recognize the sergeant of the Sightmaster Warriors. He holds out his hand. Is that it? Oh, here we go. Greetings, Sergeant. He touches his forehead with two fingers. You are almost ready, he says. I have a gift for you from the king. Twenty-four gold pieces. It is all we can spare this time. He holds out a pouch. I will take it. You accept the gift graciously. Thank you. You should buy some supplies before you pass the wall, the Sergeant says. And you must collect your spellbook if you wish magic to aid you. Finally, should you... Wish to practice your sword play, I will go one last round with you. And he points with his staff towards the training ground. Good to know. Um, collect my spell book. 
One of the huts uh, set slightly back from the others is decorated with glyphs and strange symbols. A terrible smell emanates from its doorway. This is the hut of the chief mage. He has been preparing your spell book for days, reading star charts to work out which spells will be available to you in different locations in the hills and beyond. Uh, let's go inside. You lift the flap and go inside. The mage looks up with you with haggard, sleepless eyes, presses the books into your hands. <laughs> Take it! Take the book! <laughs> Just get it away from me! You understand how to use this? <laughs> yeah, yeah, but tell me anyway. I mean, really. Uh, each spell is crafted through the alignment of three stars. He begins, the spell Zap, for example, is made by aligning Zarathustra, Aegis, Aegis, and Pini. <laughs> Pini. But that is not important. What matters is what the spell is called and what it does. Zap will give you control over lightning. Hot will create a fireball. F-O-F -F will create a force field around you. Okay. Shall I continue? Tell me more. I mean, I already know this, but I'll, I'll take it anyway. Uh, the Law spell is formed with Lilith, Augus, and Wex, and will allow you to control the will of unintelligent creatures. The Wow spell is quite different, and uses different stars. The order of matters, you see, Wall creates an invisible barrier. You'll find the rest in the book. Thank you. Very nice of you. He scratches absently at his ear. Remember, some spells will cost you effort to use, but the ones that don't the ones that don't will not work. Oh, <laughs> reading is hard sometimes. But the ones that don't will not work without a focus, an item of some kind. You will need to read the book to know what. Research magic in the spell book button on the map. Sounds good. All right, let's go buy some rations. Uh, ba -ba. Small traders in the settlement supply the site master warriors with weapons, armor, food, and clothing. You go over here with a sergeant to a stall selling flatbreads and cheese. Two gold pieces per ration? Goodness, I'll buy. Whoops. No, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'll take four. Yes, we'll buy them. You hand over your coins and the man places four rations carefully into your pack. You must be sure to eat every day or you will suffer. <laughs> the sergeant tells you, standing at your side. Eating more will give you extra strength, but it is not necessary, you fatty. But he's really trying to tell me. Check the contents of your pack in the items button. Excellent. Let's go to the train ground. You walk with the sword to the train ground. He wraps the base with a staff in leather. Already my sword. Begin, the sergeant says, we'll practice the stances. First, defend yourself against me. Is your attack bar by dragging your character sideways? What is I can't read what that says. It say fully left. Okay. Defend! Sightmaster is a powerful enemy. By defending, you'll receive the minimum damage from any attack he makes. The Sightmaster Sergeant defends himself as well. The round is a stalemate. I will now defend myself, he says. Whatever attack you play will damage me, but a strong attack will use up more power. You should choose a weak attack. I will jab at you. Good choice. A stronger attack would have wasted more of your power. I will defend myself again, he says. defend yourself. The sergeant also defends. No one is hurt, but both of you will have more power next turn. He raises defense, but says nothing. Play a low attack going for the sergeant. The sight master sergeant, he raises defense. You played carefully and won that round. Well done! He lists his guard and gives you no other clue. Hmm. Raise your guard. He also defends. Uh, my next attack will be one of my strongest. If you can perform a full attack, you may overpower me, but otherwise you had best defend yourself. Woo! You defend yourself again, building up your power for next turn. Saint Master attempts a strong attack, but you receive only a small amount of damage. He'll be weaker now. He moves up to his defense, but stays... Uh... Okay, so he defended again. All right. Okay, enemy stamina is at the top. If it reaches zero, you've won the fight. The next attack will be of medium strength. You'll be able to overpower me. Hell yeah, I will. Thrust! You play a strong attack, overpowering the Sightmaster Sergeant again. He bows. You have finished me. Excellent. 
On stamina loss, guild swordplay. I could tweet! Tweet! I will send a tweet of my great accomplishment! Let's continue. Can you remember the basics? Another round? No, I'm good. I got this figured out. Uh, very good. If you wish about in earnest, then I warn you, I will not go easy on you. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, fine. You don't be a dick about it. Let's go. Alright. Take you on for real this time. Jeez. Head over to the yard, practice about of real fighting. Remove the cloth padding from the base of a staff. Unsheath my sword! I will not tell you my intentions. You'll have to read them for yourself. Be ready. Woo I'm so glad I defended. Um, takes his position. You drop the defensive crash immediately. He's not to be trifled with. He comes in with his strongest, most forceful attack. You escape mostly uninjured. Grip change on the heel of the staff as he readies himself to strike again. Um, he has a lot of attack power, so he might go for a big full. Hmm. Uh, fast or he grunts. And his eyes follow your shoulder. He's probably about to defend himself. Strong would, a strong hit would be wasteful now. So let's go with a... With a two. Aya! Same with your blade low and fast, saving your energy. I'll wear you out, you declare. The weapon is raised in defense. Oof! Oh, he got me. Next moment, he's charging for you. With your blade closer to parry, his own blow is a medium force, but enough to knock you reeling. Uh, go for a big ol' big ol' hit. <laughs> Sucker! Acting quickly, you rush forward with a deep heavy slash, but his own move is fast and careful, and he is able to parry the very worst of the strike. You've winded him. You are strong, he acknowledges. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, oh, boo. Oh, the impact clings against the defending staff, and you lay only a minor wound. He grins. Aha! I'm glad I defended myself. Okay, drop yourself to a crouch. The power with the cry only tires him out. Uh, let's see. Aha! Got him! Uh. I mean, action, he slashed violently across his chest. It is enough to finish him. Goes down his staff. You have me! He declared with a grin. Rough going. I thought I did great. Uh, Sergeant is gasping for breath. He bows you once more. Not bad, but you will need to cover yourself more, or the beast of the kingdom will take you apart. As they talks a nearby healer, hurries over with the salve, and your health and the sergeant is quickly restored. Okay, well. Uh, I think I'm ready for whatever quest I'm about to go on, because I'm kind of a badass. Reach the foot of the mighty gate. It is sealed. Sergeant plays one hand on the wood. The gate has been locked for some time to deter raiders, he tells you, but you will have no difficulty. Stars in this place allow the DOP spell to be crafted. DOP. Okay. Oh, cast on the spell. Tap the letters to find a spell. I want D. E? O. Oh. Drop! Abacadabadabop, dop, dop! It's my favorite Harry Potter spell, by the way. Dop! Um, you weave the spell one by one, the great tumblers of the door begin to creak and groan, and the hinges turn with a noise like hail on a canvas roof. These gates have not opened since their last champion was lost. I wish you more luck than he, perhaps you'll even meet him on your travels. Ha, <laughs> he's dead. I am sure he's dead. He nods, peering at something on the horizon. I believe he's returning, but transformed. I hope you do not meet the same fate. Stands back from you. Okay, and to the gate. Together, you step into the shadow of the wall. One last word. When you have the crown, find the highest point you can find. We will be watching. Watching from where? From here. Uh, Sightmaster warriors are selected from birth for their incredible powers of telescopic vision. You cannot help but wonder how far he can see. What lies ahead? This path leads first to Cantopani. Cantopani? Cantopani? I like Cantopani. That sounds dumb. 
Uh, a settlement of traitors, though most are rogues and thieves. You should be there before the sun has reached its peak. From there, three routes lead on uh, to Cristatanti. But no single route is safe. Karkabat is a land of devils. And beyond Kare? Uh, I cannot see so far. But once you have crossed the city port of Trapped, you will enter the backlands. They say that day and night there are controlled by forces other than the sun. That doesn't sound good. Uh, and from Kare, Car too, your progress will be watched. It's time to go. Starting away, you pass through the gate. The faces of the folk watching your departure reveal the hopes that rest on you and your quest. The early morning air is crisp, and the rising sun paints the slopes in shades of peaceful beauty, concealing the evil that lies ahead. Oh boy! All right. Well, I think, uh, I think that's going to do it for our first uh, part here. So, thanks for watching, and uh, subscribe to this channel, and we'll that way you'll be notified when we uh, move on to part two. So, thanks for watching. Adios.